It's Wednesday, time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Neil Anderson joins us live this morning from Swamico with the Trumpeter Swans. Hi, Neil. Hi, Neil. Hey, good morning. Beautiful day to visit the zoo. And, of course, with this cool weather, you know, the animals are active. And some of the animals you want to see before they leave for the fall are over here. You can see our Trumpeter Swans. Our Trumpeter Swans are really, this is one of my favorite programs out here. Uh, it's, we're involved with the conservation uh, reintroduction program in the state of Iowa. We've been involved since 1993 and what it is is you know really trumpeting the the cause for wetlands in the state of Iowa and bringing back trumpeter swans to the state of Iowa. So since 1983 our young cygnets as they hatch out in the fall they're picked up by the state of Iowa and they're released back to the wild. Now if you think about this the last in just in the state of Iowa you know, the, the last uh, breeding pair uh, uh, that they found before the reintroduction efforts goes back all the way back to 1883. And then if you look at the, the whole lower 48 states, uh, there was only, well actually in 1932, 69 trumpeter swans were found in western Montana. And that was it. So there has been a lot of efforts, especially around the Great Lakes region with different states and reintroduction programs, the state of Wisconsin, Minnesota, and of course the state of Iowa, which we've been involved in. Now we've got our, our pair of swans out here. They had eight eggs this year. Uh, they hatched out in May, and you can see the size of these birds. They're about the size of, of the adults. They're about 23 to 25 pounds right now. Wow. But here's, here's the important part right now, is what we do is, you know, they're with them at this particular point. And then what we're going to do, and we'll show you, you know, in a later segment, kind of how we get set up to go ahead and uh, be able to take them off the pond and how that all works. But it's important that they go down to the state of Iowa here in the fall because at their age right now, when they're right around 15 weeks, they've got to start exercising those wings. And what we want to do is you want to make sure that when they're doing that, of course, they're going to bring them down to a wintering site. And at that time, what they do is just feather clip them and they keep them in their wintering site because they want them to stay in that area. Because here's what happens. If when they get up in the air and they fly around, uh -huh. They want them to fly around down in, the, in Iowa at a particular area because they want them to anchor to that. So what happens is when they fly around and they look around, they anchor to that particular area. That'll be in the state of Iowa, and then they'll be, that'll be part of their whole migration route and uh, a part of their uh, nesting area as well. Hmm. Interesting stuff, and it's amazing to see how, how big they've grown, They're how much grown they've up. grown oh, already. <laughs> yes, they do. Neil, we'll, we'll let it go there, and we'll see you again next hour, okay? Hey, sounds good. See ya.